I'm Glenna Cleek with Encore Ministries of First United Methodist Church in Benton. We have been watching a lot of basketball games lately, and I am sure that with March Madness coming up soon, we'll be watching a lot more. You know, there's one thing that fascinates me in some basketball games, and it's when it's a very close game and time is about to run out and the teams can get so much play time in in the last minute or seconds of a game. Coaches call a timeout and they end up uh, planning their strat strategies and setting up their plays and absolutely make the last minute or 45 seconds of playtime be last about five to 10 minutes, trying to help their team be the one that comes out ahead when the final buzzer sounds. You know, you might say that these coaches know how to make the most of their time. Making the most of, of, their, of time is something that we could all learn. I know I could. I know that I waste a lot of time. I wish that I could use it more wisely. After all, the Bible tells us to do, to do just that. It encourages us to make the most of our time. Ephesians 5, 15 through 17 says this, Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise making the most of your time because the days are evil. So, so then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of God is. All right, let's suppose something here. Suppose that every day in your banking account, there was deposited $86,400. Hmm. But the only thing is that that money would not save over to the next day. If you didn't use it that day, it was gone, taken away from you. So knowing that, you would probably, probably want to use that money as wisely as you could and not waste it and not let it be taken away from you. You see, each one of us is given 86,400 seconds each day in a 24-hour period. And if we don't use that, it doesn't save. The next day, it's gone. Gone forever. So we should use those seconds wisely. How precious time is. And yet, so much of it is wasted. So much of that, those precious seconds are wasted. And they never, never can be regained. I want you to watch something here. Look at this clock. Watch the second hand of this clock. You see how quickly that second hand goes from one mark to the next, that's one second of your life. And it's gone forever. It's now part of the past. A moment is so short, and our lives are made up of moments. Benjamin Franklin said this, Do you love life? Then do not squander time, for it is the stuff life is made of. You know, in that Ephesians 5 passage that we just read, Paul exhorts us to use our time wisely, because that's what God's will for us is. That's what he wants us to do. So how do we do that? How do we discern what our priorities should be in using those precious seconds that God has given us? 
simply by seeking God's guidance. You know, there are so many verses in the Bible where God promises to guide us in any way that we need. One of those is James 1, verse 5. He says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. And another one, one of my favorites, is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. So he will surely guide us in knowing how to use our time wisely and making the most of our time. Now, we all have that 86,400 seconds each 24-hour period. But sometimes a basketball team needs only a few seconds to accomplish their goal and maybe win a game. So, be a winner. Use your time wisely. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, Oh, what a wonderful gift you have given us in these precious seconds that we have. Help us to use them wisely, and most of all, help us to use them for your glory. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening, and have a good week. Enjoy every second of it.